Anchor is the easiest way to make a podcast. Anchor gives you everything you need in one place for free, which you can use right from your phone or computer. Create creation tools allows you to record and edit your broadcast so it sounds great. And they even distribute your broadcast for you so that it can be heard everywhere. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. So make sure you download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. This is FT News. Hello, everyone. My name is Andrew Fret, and welcome to T News. I'm your host, Andrew Fret. So this week is the finale week. Yes, oh yes. This week is the final week of of the season two finale of Future Educators Talk. So Monday. Uh, Yours truly and Debbie Erickson will be at uh, on that episode. We will be asking asking each other questions of kind of like recap season one, episode one, and the C and episode two of this podcast. So make sure you tune into that episode. Then on Wednesday. There's Chuli and also Darren Anderson. Uh, we will be talking about how to prepare for the exam since many of high school students is taking their exams this week. We are going to be sharing our thoughts on how to prepare for the exams and some test taking tips. So that's on Wednesday. Also, Friday is the season two finale with. Uh, with a special guest, Mr. Morrison from To Be Continued Podcast. So make sure you tune in on that. Also, the season premiere of Afternoon Talk with Damini Anderson premieres on Saturday. Saturday, January 18th. Um, so make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel at Afternoon Talk with Damien Anderson. Uh, new episode comes out every Saturdays at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. Plus, Brunch Talk with Darren Frett comes back. Yes, oh yes. Comes back on Tuesday, January 14th at 10.30 on Twitter Live. You're sh- on, on Instagram Live, excuse me. I'll be talking about why is middle school so hard for many students. Plus, I'll be talking about that same topic on Wednesday, January 15th on Twitter Live. So make sure you tune in on that day. Well, that is going to be it. This is FTE News. And I hope you and make sure you listen to today's episode. Welcome to Future Educators Talk. I am your co-host, Damian Anderson. And I'm Adrian Fred. And on today's episode, we are going to do something a little bit different on today. Um, so Our plan on today was our Q&A show, Um, but that has changed, so um, instead of that, we are going to be asking each other questions um so that is what we're going to be doing on today so let's just hop right into some questions so um 
So, um, so Darren, um, my question for you is, um, what, what advice would you give to someone, um, what advice would you give to someone wanting to enter the teaching, um, profession? Um, that's a good question. Okay. Um, be passionate about it. Um, that's really be passionate about it. Be yourself. Um, mm-hmm. also get resources and yeah. um. Plus, uh, go to your former teachers because they're they 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 are the ones that um, they've done this before. You know, mm-hmm. they've done this. Before. Mm-hmm. So go to them. Um, ask any questions that you may have, um, and you know, and go from there. All right, that's that's really good, really good of answering that. All right, all right. Um, okay. So, um, now, um, I want to um go into like something more personal now. Um, so. Let's see. Um, so I just had it in my head just a few minutes ago. Um, so how, okay. Um, I don't think I'm not for sure if I asked you this already, but, um, I want to see how, um, How did you quite ended up and it's fine. You don't have to like um, answer this if you don't want to, but how did you ended up in like foster? How did you end up in foster care? Because um you was living with your family so I want to like how was how did that quite like happen you ended up in being in foster how did that quite like happen you ended up in foster care in the first place that I want to like know that Uh, I do believe you did ask me the question in the episode with supporting students living in foster care. Make sure you listen to it now on Spotify. Um, <laughs> um, uh, but just to refresh your doll's memory here, um, the reasoning, I don't know why. Um, um, the reasoning, I don't know why, uh, to this day, I don't know why, and probably later down the road, <clears throat> once I get older, I probably will find out, um, find out the answer to that question, um, uh, 
again, I was in uh, foster care for five years, uh, mm-hmm. five or six years from 2009 or 10 to 2015. I uh, was living with one family in Hollis Springs in North Carolina and in Bluesburg, North Carolina. Um, great, great, uh, great families. Um, learned a lot from them, a lot of wisdom, a lot of um, advice as well. Um, they were. Uh, it happened in probably in July of 2010, 2009, because I just um, just finished mm-hmm. elementary school. I do remember that. I just finished mm-hmm. elementary school. And I would say a month later is when it happened. So, um, yep. I'm right. So I have a question. All right. Um. So, if you <clears throat> was not uh, interested in the education oh. field, what would you be? In oh life? gosh. Ah. <sighs> okay. Um, that is a good question. Um, well, to be honest, to be honest, um, I really, um, don't know. Um, but... Okay. But um but for like some apparent reason, like in the back of my mind, um, if something like ever like happens, if like I wasn't, you know, quite like never, you know, interested in, you know, in the education field, I would be interested in business that that Mm -hmm. that just because I just to me that's just because for me I like to stay busy I'm a busy person I like to you know work with people I need to keep myself busy Mm -hmm. at all time I communicate with people I need to you know cooperate with others so that's just that just always been in the back of my mind so if I ever you know wasn't interested in education so um and um I'm again um with I'm interested in math so that's you know a good Um, thing for me with business with numbers as well so with finance so Mm -hmm. that's um, a good one so yeah with um, business so um, yeah so um so yeah okay okay um a lot of my friends, a lot of my friends uh, tell me that uh, I look like a businessman. Um, I, I mean, I, 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 I mm-hmm. take that compliment, but I, I don't feel like business would be would be mm. appropriate for me because 
I mean, yes, you're dealing mm-hmm. with numbers and you know, and yeah. other people, but at the same time, you know, you got to have that, um, yeah, that slow time. I would, mm-hmm. as I would, um, the break, um, you got to have that break, and you know, I don't want to push myself so hard that I don't have a chance yeah. to have a break. So, again, I mean, I'll take that compliment, but I just don't see myself as a businessman. Yeah. I just really don't. Um, so. So, here's a follow-up okay. question related to um, in the education um, field. So, what is your, um, what is your, like, your top, um, I know you want to be a teacher, but what is your, like, your main goal? Like, do you want to be a principal or assistant principal, superintendent? Like, what is your, like, here's teacher, but what do you want to be? after you become a teacher in that education system field? Or you just want to stay oh, at a teacher level? Yes. Um, that is my main goal right there is to just be a teacher because ever since I was, I mean, ever since I was little, that is what I always want to be because um i have um i have um a sister and then i have nieces um that always comes over here when they used to um they always come over here sometimes over the weekends and stuff and over the holidays and i remember like all the time that um we used to um play like school over here and I always used to be the teacher over here and we used to do like all this stuff like always have you know like papers and stuff like always be like the teacher over here like be you know my 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 room always be like the classroom stuff and always you know they be the students and stuff and I just like I imagine myself being like that so that that is like my goal out there is to be a teacher only because I just that that is just ever since I was little it's just that that's just my main goal is is to just be a teacher I just maybe I mentioned probably like in a couple of episodes I maybe want to be um a principal at some point but but for mm-hmm. several years um when i start out my main goal is to be a teacher that is it because i mm-hmm. want to mm-hmm. impact my students i want to change their lives that is what i want to do because i just want to do that i just really do that's that's just my main goal right there and who knows i may you know even move up to be a principal or who just knows that it's it's just for my main goal for for now is just to just to be a teacher so everyone know everyone who knows me they know i want to be a teacher everyone knows that everyone knows that so And what about um and what about you? What is your um mango to be as well? Um hmm. 
I mean, there's there's mm-hmm. there's a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of traditions inside of that uh, uh, in the education system because and you have math specialists, tutoring, like etc. Um, so for me. Um, after I would probably, I'm a, um, I would probably go for, um, probably a math specialist since mm-hmm. I'm great at math. Um, and then go from math, spe- math specialist to, I'm a, um, to assistant principal. And that's probably how far I would go. Um, principal eh, in the middle not really not mm-hmm. really just yet um, but my main goal is to be uh, assistant principal at a school mm-hmm. um, so which means I would have to get my masters in mm-hmm. school administration so Right. Okay. Um, right. Um, so, um, well, let me ask you this. So, um, I know there's, I've been watching, um, on YouTube. Um, lately that these teachers they've been doing these vlogging um, you know in their classrooms and stuff so well well I know we've been we talked about this um, back in season one I believe um, so um, let's do a recap of this uh, will you be doing that in your classroom? Vlogging in your classroom? Vlogging, vlogging, vlogging. You know, after watching two mm-hmm. teacher vloggings two years ago, that's kind of like my inspiration uh, to be a teacher because I want to do, <laughs> you know, to do a teacher vlogging. Um, so to answer this to that question is yes, I will most definitely will do a teacher vlogging. Um, of course, you have to find time to uh, to do it. Um, because I know some teachers do it um, mm-hmm. at the end of the day or at the yeah. beginning of the day or they do it during their, um, their planning. So for me, I would probably do it in those three um, those three um, sequence. Um, so like the beginning planning and then at the end of the day you know pack it up leaving saying goodbye all that um stuff and um and then hopefully um hopefully to continue as well once you know once that's over with so um i don't know we talked about i don't know I said this or not but I think it's a great way because it reflects on mm-hmm. how you teach and how you mm-hmm. actually feel mm-hmm. during the school year um, and there's no um, yeah it's kind of like a it's kind of like a basically kind of like a 2019 reflection but 
instead as a teach it's like their right. self reflection on how you teach and how you you know you're basically going to engage in yourself yep. basically um, so yeah so my question <laughs> so my question to you as well are you going to be doing the same thing or or are you going to be doing something um, different Yes, um, absolutely. I'm will. I am going to be doing that um, teacher vlogging um, to yeah, just like you said to um, how to find time, you know, in my schedule of when I'm going to do that um, to reflect, you know, to reflect on what's going on, you know, in my day and to also, you know, showcase, you know, what's going on of what's going on in my classroom of see what's going on and probably like what's going on in my students' day as well. So I will be doing that, um, yeah, because to see, you know, what's just happening because that's, a great way so I would be doing that absolutely so I I just I just think that's I just I just like to I just like to see um teachers um to do that to showcase what is going on in their classroom to showcase everything that is going on I just I just I just love seeing it I just I just really do mm-hmm. yep 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 um like I said I again I'll probably do beginning so like when I not like the beginning, like the first thing I get up. No, no, no. I would probably do like when I um, get in my mm-hmm. car and drive myself to drive, drive myself to the school, and then um, and then tell y'all, you know, welcome yeah. to my classroom. Welcome to Mr. Angel's classroom, and you know, you know, do a room showcase um and then give y'all a uh what's happening you know at the beginning of the school year yeah. especially at the beginning of school year too Great. you know and then you know show y'all what my curate my car mm, my curations on um like doing a powerpoint mm-hmm. from state school all, you know all that and then give y'all update during my planning and then at the end of the day when it's the last class of the day um, when I'm packing up do another vlog then do the whole thing yeah. all over again you know, until the end of the week so um so I um so I have another question for you. Um what grade level will you um be teaching? Are you planning on teaching? Yeah, what that I want? Yeah. Oh, planning on teaching. Um, I plan on so I <laughs> so I say this every time okay. someone asks me this question. Every time, um, every time someone asks me this question, I, I give them Around. this answer, and it's I want to teach elementary three through five and middle school 
I, I don't ca- like I don't care what grade level because it's six through eight, so I really don't care <laughs> what grade level for middle school. And for high school, I will probably do um which is called at my high school it's called um Foundations of Math One F Math One. That's what those three in each elementary, middle, and high school, those are the three that I, you know, plan on teaching, that I want mm-hmm. to teach. Right. So, um, so, what is your great level um, preference? For like me, um, I know for sure, for me, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, um, a uh, if I could speak t- today, is eighth grade, middle school eighth grade, um, yeah. Ooh. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, that's um, either yeah seventh or eighth grade, but um, eighth grade will be nice for me because. Um, that's just to me I feel like that is where I to me that's where I feel like I belong with them personally and then mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. I do mm-hmm. um move up to the high school level um where in here um in Tennessee um 9th through 12th um, it really quite doesn't matter to me. I mean, it doesn't doesn't really matter. So, um, so yeah. Um, as long, yeah, as long as is to me, as long as it's not probably freshmen, um, ninth grade. So, but yeah. So. That's for me right there. Um, middle school will be for eighth grade. So. Okay. I have a follow up question. To All that, right. To that, to that answer. Um, why not, why not freshman? freshman? Um, well. Because you said as long as they're yeah, not Oh, uh, well. Well, they're just, you know, <laughs> they're they're moving from, you know, middle school, they're going to high school. There is a big change mm-hmm. for them. So mm-hmm. um, I don't know, it's like they're um, it's just is it's it's everything is new for them. Is is mm-hmm. a lot of process going on for them in their in their minds. So and and yeah, and for me, I'm when I'm a teacher, mm-hmm. they will need to be you know able to you know listen to you know to me and I feel like they Mm -hmm. will probably not do that when so I to me just know if if they put me with the freshmen I feel like like they will probably not they will probably like you know like ignore me so I just no don't so no just don't do that Mm -hmm. so I that's what I feel so Mm -hmm. just don't so I don't know who 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 knows if I don't know um, um trying, to, right. trying to think. Um so all right. Um I was about to say you gotta have that exactly. good classroom management. You mm-hmm. gotta have that good classroom management. Um so once we do become a teacher, um are you going to 
listen to this podcast, oh, yeah. podcast once you become a teacher. Like, once you become a teacher, like, you already got your mm-hmm. classroom set up, you already got your certification, mm-hmm. all that jazz, and now mm-hmm. you are first year teacher. Are you going to listen to this podcast as a uh as a reminder or as a um probably as a, as a refresher probably both maybe and and um probably by then like first i will start out at the middle school and that will be for like several mm-hmm. several years and when i do move up mm-hmm. to when i do move up to the high school level I will probably start out as a freshman um, teacher and Mm -hmm. when I do um, I'll be you know a more you know a more disciplined teacher a more structured Mm -hmm. teacher and by then you know Mm -hmm. I'll be the students, you know, they will have, you know, my all attention by then. So, mm-hmm. by then, mm-hmm. exactly. Sorry, no, so, yeah, by then, once I, you know, listen back on this podcast, I know that, um, I know that, what I'm trying to say here, I know that, Yes. So you got it in the bag? Yes. So um, like you got this? So, <laughs> so yeah. So, I, yeah, so, so, yeah. So, I, I, yeah, I guess so. So, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Probably once we do, once we do become a teacher, there's probably gonna be like a whole lot of seasons yeah, exactly. out already. Yeah. <laughs> so, so a whole lot of catching up so. to do, but you know. Um. Oh, I've been asking you. Um, <laughs> I've been asking you some questions. I'm trying to, like, oh. think. Um, we've been, like, asking, like, some, um, I know, some educational questions. Um, yes. Yes. I'm trying to, like, think. Um. Like, of some, like, some maybe personal questions about to talk about ourselves to um, so our listeners can get to know us a little better um um okay well I well I do have one Mm -hmm. just one more (laughs) education question um so what if (laughs) so let's say you're teaching at a school okay in tennessee and i got this offer you know to teach at a school Mm -hmm. you know that you teach at what will happen if we teach if we both teach at the same school oh so we're Okay. So, for instance, let's say you're teaching at so and so middle school as a uh-huh. eighth grade math teacher, and I'm there as a seventh grade math teacher. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's um, a good question, ain't it? <laughs> well, um, that's a good question. First off, um. I'll be like um, very 
um, excited that uh, you are there. Um, um, first off, with that, um, that there is, let's say, that there is a another, um, another black man, um, another African American black man um, teacher that is there with me at that school teaching. Um, so I would be um, very, I would be very excited um, with that teaching alongside with me. Um, so yeah, I would be totally excited with that. So yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 for me, I would probably be ecstatic because number one, I've never been to Tennessee, and number two, uh, you know, you know, as a as an African American teacher, mm-hmm. hi, how you doing? Yes, I'm here. Um, so yes, I'll be so excited, so ecstatic, really. Uh, <laughs> um, so excited as well. Um, I, 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 I would probably will um, to be working aside with you and probably come up, even though we're gonna, even though mm-hmm. in different grade levels, but however. Uh, we will come yes, together coming as up a with... unit and different yes. uh, ideas to make um, our classroom better, um, mm-hmm. more resources, um, and have questions if if uh, that we, uh, that right. we don't have answers to. Um, also probably come up with clubs. I know you said you want to um, do student council, yes. right? So do student cl- um, yes, student council, that- do that. Um, maybe um, also with um, coach, do that as well. So, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Coach, uh, if I if I don't mind asking, coaching of which? Um, well, I don't mind asking. I in high school, um, my senior year, um, I was on the cross country team, so um, I would oh, probably do that. Um, so I will do okay. probably do that. And probably um, um, something else. Um, I can't think off the top of my head, but um, maybe soccer. I may do that. Um, soccer. So, okay. yes. Coach yes. Anderson. Everyone can. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Coach, Coach Anderson, Anderson, right there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Coach Anderson doing cross country and soccer. Yes. Um, for me, um, I know you didn't ask me this question, but I'm gonna go ahead and okay. answer that question too. Um, again, I would probably do student council. So if we do work together, I'll probably uh, do like. Uh, mm-hmm. If we do work together, um, I probably be the co-advisor right. of that club as well. Uh, but I'm also um, so I created a club at my high school back during my senior year of high school, oh, um, where I created this club. Well, I didn't really create it; I basically brought okay. it back to life. I basically reviving. Um, it was called Future uh, FTA, which was Future Teachers of mm-hmm. America. 
and that club basically ran no yes <laughs> yes yes um no not my senior I basically got it from Judy because I lost the election the re-election of no I lost the election of president of student council of my grade level yeah it was my junior year so I basically was the president um of of FTA for two years from junior year all the way to my last year of high school and then I passed the torch to uh someone in uh junior year so I'm hope I'm 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 willing to bring that club to whatever school that um, I want to teach at so that um, I can continue um, that tradition that I once did because we did we did a 12 days of Christmas where each we give uh, we did a special appreciation to all the departments in the school and all departments in the school gets a little gifty bag um, so that they can go home and you know mm-hmm. enjoy their holiday um, we also make posters basically feel teachers appreciated um, that's that's what we did uh, when I was in school for two years um, that's what we did in the club for two years so I'm willing to bring that to hopefully when we do teach together hopefully bring that to that school nice. as well um, coaching um, I don't coaching I, I'd rather be a sister coach than coaching um, because I didn't really play any sports really um I mean, I did, but um, I played the rec league for like a year of basketball. But other than that, at a school level, no. Um, uh, so that's why I, I would probably uh, be an assistant coach, probably of basketball. Um, and that's about it. Just, just, just basketball. That's that's okay. it. Um, maybe track and field maybe it, it just just a slight maybe but uh, basketball would be 100% assistant coach not coach because I'm not because coaching you have there's like like huge mm-hmm. responsibility because mm-hmm. you have to schedule practices you have to um, mm-hmm. schedule the games like there, there, there's just so much and I feel like I'm gonna get super duper overwhelmed if I do become a coach and so that's why I'm like I'd rather be assistant coach I don't I still get that overwhelm factor but still at the same time I'll have that relaxed um okay So, Coach yeah. Fred and Coach Anderson come to the school next So, be prepared. Be prepared. Mm. Be prepared. Okay. So, um, um, so, um, now, um, now, um, let's go, let's, as some questions about um about a little bit probably about ourselves now um so to give our listeners you know like to get so they can like get to know something you know a little more about us quite more better um, to give you know a little recap of us from the very first um, two episodes 
uh, since we started this podcast. Um, so yeah, which that's <laughs> been um a while back. So yeah, ooh, man. So ooh, um, I'm trying to think of. Um, so what um, um where are you um, originally like from? Are you um, originally from? So, born and raised right here in the Tall Hills. Well. Born and raised in Tall Hill State, North Carolina. Um, born in born in Durham County, in Durham, North Carolina. Um, raised in Lewisburg, North Carolina, Franklin County. Um, that's where I basically spent basically the whole twenty years of my life has been right here in, in the in, in the North Carolina. I have not moved not out of state, uh, not not to the north, not to the south, not to the west, not to the Midwest. Born and raised right here in the Carolinas, um, in North Carolina. Uh, but I do have family. Um, I do have family in the South. I do have family in the um, in Florida. I do have family in Virginia. Um, I do have family in West Virginia. Um, I mean, basically, I have Virginia from the north of I ninety five and south of I ninety five. So, and I think I do have one cousin that is out to the west in Colorado if I'm not mistaken. So. Okay. Born and raised right here in the Carolinas. Um, but, however, I don't plan on staying in the Carolinas forever. Um, I do have some plans. Um, if you follow me on my Twitter page uh, at Darren underscore Fred. Um, there is a hashtag called Fred Travels where I travel to different states. Um, basically follow, follow along me with my adventure um, where I traveled to West Virginia for the Labor Day weekend last year. Um, that's where my uncle is. Um, traveled to Florida that's where uh, my grandmother is um, twice actually um, I think once in 2015 or no not 2015 2017 or 2016 and again in 2018 um, traveled to that's all I could remember from right now so yeah um again i don't plan on staying here forever um i like to travel to other states hopefully tennessee hopefully tennessee um you know just want to point that out there (laughs) if he's listening maybe not (laughs) but uh yeah uh to uh tennessee kentucky um alabama Atlanta, uh, Georgia. Atlanta's not a not a not a state. Georgia. Um, 
The most big one is I want to go to New York and California. Those are the two biggest states that I want to go to. Like the like the biggest two. Um, that's actually on my bucket list, actually, just FYI. Um, is to go to New York and California. Um Yeah, that's 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 about it. So So what about what about you? What about what is your are you born and raised and are you a born or, mm, I can speak are you a um a, 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 I don't know how y'all say it in your state but a a, a, a test me a test a test <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah um yeah um so um I'm originally from here um Tennessee um um Trenton Tennessee actually um which is a um yeah which is a small um a small town um um so it's um been here um my whole life um so um it's um it's I wouldn't say it's um I wouldn't say it's um I mean it's a great place to live I mean it is but um Mm -hmm. but like I said it's a very small town but it's just it's just not Mm -hmm. for and for a lot of people who are listening to this y'all understand me um it's not a great place Mm -hmm. you know to stay and live because it's just Mm -hmm. it's just not it's just nothing here I mean it's really not if I'm speaking if Mm -hmm. I'm speaking the truth Mm -hmm. it's just not so um that's why people are just um you know, they're just leaving here. So, um, that's Mm -hmm. why, um, once, you know, I get a little bit older, that's why, um, leaving here to go, um, someplace else. Um, but anyways, huh? Like, um, to (laughs) like, like, to like, like, um, (laughs) either like um Jackson Tennessee or probably like Nashville um so that's Mm. yeah so that's like my biggie right there so um I'm I'm like y'all know and Darren knows I'm and everyone knows who knows me I'm a very well I wouldn't say quite a very um probably now I'm a very um shy person um I've been like I've been Mm -hmm. like that since I don't to be honest I really don't know probably since I started school maybe I really don't know when this happened I I to be honest I don't know um I've been like this mm-hmm. since till probably like na- well probably not till about now maybe I'm starting to come out of my shell now I'm starting to really come out a bit um, mm-hmm. it's not that bad mm-hmm. of it. I mean, I'm not like, you know, like, um, I'm not like, you know, up against the wall and, you know, afraid to talk to people. I'm not like 
that. It's just, mm-hmm. it's just, mm-hmm. it's just like when meeting new people, it takes me a while to get to know new people. It just takes me a while. Um, mm-hmm. So, it does. Yes. But yes. when people get to know me, I'm a very nice person. I really am. I'm funny. I'm kind. Um, mm-hmm. it, it just, I really am. So, and and I'm really fun to be around, like people say. So, that's mm-hmm. who I am. So, um, mm-hmm. what else can people know about me? So, um, I have a sister. Um, she's planning on going to college next year. Um, so, um, and I also have an older brother as well. Um, I have families. Um, that lives here also and also in other um, areas as well Um, so that's pretty much I guess about me um, as well so Mm -hmm. um, yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so to I have two questions for you. Number one, are you a country boy? That means live in a country where there's nothing, literally nothing around. Or are you a city boy? Now, the reason why I ask this now, because you mentioned that Mm -hmm. you live in a small town where there's Mm -hmm. nothing around. But once you move to Nashville or Jacksonville, which is, I know Nashville is like a big city place, but I don't know about Jacks, Jacksonville. Um, w- um, are you like which one are you? Are you or are you in the middle? I'm quite like in the middle because in because in here in Trenton. Okay. I mean, like, there are, I mean, it's, I mean, we do have, like, some places, like, I mean, I mean, it's not like a Mm -hmm. dead, uh, well, well, if some people who are going to listen to this, I mean, they probably going to say it is like a dead place, but to me, it's quite like, I mean, we, it's just like, people just don't, if, okay, let me probably just, like, be honest, and if I'm going to be honest right now. People just don't quite like want to live here. If if I'm just gonna be honest, with you, they they just don't. Mm-hmm. It because there's like mm-hmm. no houses here. To because it's just these houses have been here like for years, and it needs to be torn down. We need new houses. Mm-hmm. The roads it needs to be rebuilt. Um, it's just like that. Um, we need you know new stores and stuff like that so it's just is like I said it's a very it's a small town it's just it's it's just what it is what it is so okay all right um number two um kind of related to moving to Nashville and Jacksonville what other states do you plan on you know visiting or um, move to if you have that well in, it's okay I if don't you don't know about um I don't know because I have never been out of a state before. Well, actually, well, actually, mm. um, I have been, but that was like when, when, like, um, um, but I do actually um, want to 
Um, I do actually want to like get out of Tennessee. Um, I really do. So that will be mm-hmm. that's that's like on my wish list. That's that 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 is. So yeah. So that's that's probably is. I don't know. I don't know about moving. Moving. Um. I'm um, mm-hmm. staying in Tennessee. That that's mm-hmm. that's 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 my place. This this is this is home to me. But going to a state mm-hmm. that that is mm-hmm. that's like on my wish list right there. So yeah. Um. Do you have any? Uh, do you have any like um, states in mind? Actually, see. Um, I do. Um, actually, um, not at the top of my head, actually. Um, I have it written down somewhere, but, um, I will get back to you once we, um, finish this episode. I will. Just to let everyone know, um, in case you have not listened to the the first two episodes of of our broadcast, you know, I know it's like six months ago, but, um, I mean, not six months, yeah, six months ago. Um, I have an older brother, a twin sister, and a younger sister. Uh, all of them now, actually, we all graduated high school. Um, I'm planning on going to college, hopefully, uh, this year, uh, after taking a two years of break, because I know I was supposed to go last year, um, the fall of 2019, but... It didn't come out. There was just so much to do. I was like, you know what? Let me just focus on getting the money. Because I didn't have enough money to get into college. Uh, So, 2018, of course, all y'all know, I was supposed to go to William Peace. But I didn't have enough money again. So, I decided to not go to William Peace. Um... And I decided to just stay home. And it's a good thing that I stayed home because, again, in case y'all did not know, my father passed in November, uh, about two days after Thanksgiving in 2018. So, it's a good thing that I did not, like, officially, you know, start classes and everything because... Again, I, I wouldn't know what, what would happen and I would probably cry. So it's a good thing that I stayed home um, during that year. But I'm, I think, hopefully, hopefully, um, I'm planning on going to college, hopefully in the fall. Hopefully. That is my goal for this year. That's like the New Year's re- resolution um, is to go to college in the fall. Um, because 2019 has been so good to me. So, um, right now, 2020 is off with a bang right now. So, um, which I have not yet announced it yet, but, um, I'm just waiting until Friday because I have a special message on Friday. Even though I've already gotten it last week, but I'm gonna wait till Friday um, to officially um, announce it. Um, 
I am a shy person as well, just like Damien. Um, but however, comma, it's like when many new people, you don't know, you don't know uh, what they are. Like you're trying to figure out, you know, their story, all that jazz. Um, for me, you have to pass my test mm-hmm. in order to um that's like part of the test um you have to pass my test in order to to see if I want to uh like I'm trying not to be mean not trying to be rude but um to see if I want to um exactly um and if you don't pass that test it's just like Mm. Uh, I, I don't like if I'm getting bad bad if I'm getting bad 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 oh my goodness bad vibes from you then or that negativity from you yeah mm-hmm. yeah, no, no. yeah I'm not yeah I'm not going no, 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 no. Yeah. no. Uh, I'm just I belong to another mm-hmm. person um, but, um, um, but I am very kind person. Um, uh, I am funny. Um, I'm not like Kevin Hart. Okay. Um, which I get that a whole lot that I should be a comedian, but I'm like, I'm not like Kevin Hart. Okay. He's in a whole lot of movies. I'm just a 20 year old has zero movies. He got Oscars. I have none. He has a Netflix special. I don't. So I'm not like Kevin Hart. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, give me, um, is there any more questions you will like to um, ask me um, before the end? Um, are you gonna go by when you when you um first teaching? Are you gonna go by like Mr. Damien or by Mr. Anderson? Oh gosh, <laughs> I get that a lot. I really do. Uh, when when I was in school, I would get that a lot, um, Mr. Damien or Mr. Anderson, mm-hmm. um, because. Because, like, in school, you know, we have to, you know, call, um, well, I know in school we have to call um, the teachers by their last names. Um, so, I um, I like, let's see, Mr. Damien or Mr. Anderson. Um, I like... I mean, they both sound good to me. Yeah. They both sound good. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. Um, either... Um, either or, um, either or, but, um, I like, um, 
for me, I like um, Mr. Anderson. Okay. Uh, so, for me, it would be Mr. Anderson. So, okay. um, now, now, if they, you know, accidentally, you know, called, called me Ms., Mr. Damien, I mean, it's fine. I mean, I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's okay. I mean, that's still my name. It's 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 okay. So, I mean, but but I will be called by Mr. Anderson. So, okay. Yeah. Right. And what about right. Kim? Um. Yeah. <laughs> again. <laughs> uh. Again. <laughs> um, I get this a whole lot, uh, which is Mr. Fred. Uh, but, however, uh, it's going to bring back my dad. So, um, I would probably go with Mr. Andrew. Um, I, I preferably go by Mr. Andrew. Uh, I mean, if you say Mr. Fred, I will, I will let it slide. Um, I will let it slide. Just, just you know, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll just let it slide um, because I mean it is my last name. You know, it mm-hmm. is my last name. But I rather go by Mr. Andrew, which is my preferred name. It's not really my first name. Just to just to clear mm-hmm. everything up, Darren mm-hmm. is my first name. Andrew is my middle name. But I preferably go by Andrew which is my mother name. Just to clear right. everything up. Because I know some people are like confused when they saw Future Educators talk with Andrew and Damien and they're like Yeah. Yeah. You know, what's going on? Yeah. Hold up. I thought like, hold on, what, yeah. is that his first? No, 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 yeah. no. That's my mm-hmm. preferably yeah. name. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know yeah. I think there are people out there that rather prefer their their Miller name than their first name. So, mm. so yeah, right. um, either Mr. Andrew or Mr. Drake. Now, when it's coaching, that's a whole nother level. It's going to be coach. Yeah, Fred. yeah, or coach Andrew. Yeah, and for yeah, and for me, <laughs> for, and for me, it's going to be Coach Anderson. No, Coach Damien. If you call me, if you call me Coach Damien, um, you're gonna, you're gonna um, sit down on the bench. You're no, absolutely not, Coach Anderson or Coach A. Um, oh no, 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 Coach not A. Coach A. No, no, it's Coach Anderson. Let me, let me, let, <laughs> let me stop you right there. It's, it's Coach Anderson, not Coach A. That right there because. Because I'm thinking about something else right now. He's Coach Anderson. So, yeah. Oh, my God. So. so be like, yeah. you're going to run some laps today. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh-huh. you're gonna yeah run some laps. absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Coach Fred so. uh, or Coach Andrew. Uh, not Coach F. Mm-mm. No, Fred. Mm hmm. You yeah. know, Fret, F R E T T, okay? Not F R T. <laughs> all right. F R T T. Add an extra T to it. All right. Yes, I do worry a lot, but add an extra T. All <laughs> right. Otherwise, you're going to, I don't know, do squats or something. I don't know. Jibber <laughs> the ball. I don't know. Jibber up to down. The basketball court, ten times. So, Coach Fretz, where's Andrew? All right. That's it. That's it. That's that's no other names. No, 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 not no. Coach Fretz or Coach Anderson. No. You got. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> Man, we talked about a lot. This is an hour and Yes, minutes. we did. Hello. Yes, we did. Um, so, <laughs> you know, yes. So uh-huh. again, um, again, again on this episode, um, y'all might want to 
grab something, grab y'all snacks. So because y'all need to grab y'all blanket, whatever, get comfy because um, this is a um, going to be a long episode. So so yes yes um, yes. yes. Uh, also, we're on Spotify, by the way. Uh, just want to point that yes. out there. All you have to do is search Future Educators Talk, and then you can start listening from the very first episode all the way to this episode that comes out later yeah. on today. Uh, so, yes. all you got to do is tap in the search bar, Future Educators Talk, and well, bam, it's on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, mm-hmm. it's available all podcast platform google podcast apple podcast tune in and and etc so all you have to do is search future educators talk and start listening from season one episode one and yeah whoo <laughs> all right a little promo um oh. little promo there yes <laughs> <laughs> um so, um, woo. So that's it for woo, today's episode. Um, yes. So on the next episode, um, what will we be talking about? Um, what will we be talking about? Um. So right now, at this point in the school season, it's exams. I want to talk about exams because a lot of high school what? students right now in, in in my county right now are taking their exams. So I want to kind of talk about how to prepare for the exams and what to and what to study for. For the exams, um, so this this the next episode is mainly going to be for the students. Uh, so, tune in uh, on Wednesday. All right. So, all right. Make sure y'all listen in to that on Wednesday. Um, so, also this week. Um, this week my new show comes out afternoon talk with Damien on YouTube so make sure you check that yeah. out um, subscribe to my YouTube channel at afternoon talk with Damien um, so you don't miss when new episodes come out so do that do that do mm-hmm. that um, yes, so um, yes so um, yes 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 and so, also um, you have a familiar <laughs> just want to point this out there you have a familiar uh, uh, voice uh, coming yes. to your show Nick. yes uh, familiar voice on my second episode so um, tune in for that tune in for that I'm just going to leave that there so um, yes familiar voice in the second episode so y'all just have to see who it is so um, um, yeah. So. Yep. Uh. Mm-hmm. Um. Brunch talk with Darren Fred is back. Uh. Uh. I will be back. Yes. Oh yes. My show is back. Yeah. On. Um, I do believe on Instagram Live tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Yeah. Right and all in tomorrow. Make sure you tune in to uh, Brush Talk with Dave Fred on Instagram Live tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you tune in uh, where I'll be talking about love school. is so hard for students. Uh, if you have not listened to that episode, make sure you go check it out um, where I have special guest Mr. Luther we talked about that also uh on twitter live as well with uh also on twitter live which will be on wednesday uh time right now is to be determined um because i know we i know we have an episode on wednesday so it might be 9 30 will be an hour early 
uh, 9.30. So make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you tune in to that. Uh, special guest is welcome. Um, if you, do you have any opinions or anything? Come, 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 come and join me. Um, have your breakfast made and have your have everything ready to go because it's going to be a bright and early Tuesday and Wednesday. So make sure you tune in to that. And um, also Friday, 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 we have a, well, right now, uh, we are working on getting a special guest coming to our broadcast for the CG2 finale. Uh, yes. We we're talking about Mr. Morrison from To Be Continued podcast. Yeah, left. If you have not listened to Don't just listen to future educators talk on your smartphone. Continue the conversation online. Like us on Facebook. Be a part of the conversation by telling us what you think. Join us on Instagram for behind the scenes content and follow along on Twitter to stay up to date with what's happening on our podcast and beyond. It's you who keeps future educators talk going. So like, comment, share, and connect everywhere with us. You get social. Let's listen.